Hello, hello, this is Ark the Pie King, back with another episode of Final Fantasy... Let's play Final Fantasy Tactics, The War of the Lions. Last time, we finally hunted down and killed the evil, plotting, sinister, dastardly... Actually, not any of those things, Meluda. She was quite a sympathetic character. I'm going to attempt to finish up, um... Chapter 1 today. I don't know if that's going to be a thing that happens or not. Uh, let's uh, get right into it, because I don't think there's anything I need to do. Here we see Weegraf with uh, some of his grunts and Tetra. They think she's a Beowulf. Given the bad news. He's been given orders to leave teacher here. Looks like he's not going to be following orders. Why am I only allowed to take four people with me? I know I only have one guest. Okay, let's figure out who to leave behind, because I actually have no idea who I did last time. Um, Reese will be very useful. I'm going to take a chance and take Beowulf, even though I think Baltier would be better. And... I want my main source of damage with me. Alright, let's see how this goes. This is one of the harder battles in the chapter. Uh, all we have to do is kill a specific person. Um, I think I alluded to such last episode in that all we have left are assassination missions, but even still. The one target is really, really tough. I just don't understand why I wasn't allowed to take someone else with me. That makes no sense. It's funny that he says that. But... We'll come to that in just a minute. Hopefully. Assuming I don't totally beef it. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna wait. Is it okay? Yeah, don't worry, I'll set her free. Also, I'm gonna kill you. And Delita made what is 
possibly the singular worst move he could have made. That was completely useless. Well, no, I think I might be jumping the gun. Because he actually got Weegraf in somewhat of a bad position. But we'll have to see if I can work to make it well work out. Since Rafa is on the opposite side that I need him to be. Oh, she has Shockwave? Ooh, I want that crystal. Ooh, I want that crystal really bad. Um... Okay. New priority. I'm going to attempt to be getting that crystal. I don't know how well it's going to work out, but... Oh, who am I kidding? That's not going to happen. He can spam cure all day and all night. Um, yeah, he can spam cure all day and all night. That's what I'm going to be trying to do. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, when she casts it... Yeah, Weegrab is way too far away. She'll never reach him right now. And one good thing is that his... I wonder if I can actually see um, the skills that he can... That he has available to him. Nope. Not able to. It's too bad. I wanted to know if he had anything besides Judgment Blade. Because Judgment Blade has no vertical tolerance at all. So even though it's an AoE, he could not hit both of them at one time. And I can compound... Com that by doing here as well, and I'm gonna try to take advantage of that. Um, wow, that's actually a really impressive vertical tolerance. Alright, let's see what happens. One miss. I was expecting that. Okay, now hit the knight up top. Good job, Rafa! You are great, and I am so happy to have you as a part of the team. Please don't do that again. Um. I don't want to get him... I don't want to put him here, because then both of them can get hit with Judgment Blade. It also puts him in a bad position dealing with all of them, so... I'm going to continue to keep them all on different heights, and we are going to, I'll tell you what, we're going to pump Reese's speed up. But the faster she is, the more likely she is to grab the crystal as soon as it pops. Yeah, you know what, that's fine. Wait, he just killed his own dude? What? I have never seen the AI do something that crazy before. Also, that did an inordinate amount of damage. Alright, well, time to, um... Well... I'm trying to make something of this. I think that'll get me close enough to nail him. 
Alright, let's see what happens here. One. Two. This is ridiculous. Alright, well, I guess, uh... I guess Rafa won the fight. That's cool. Oh yeah, by the way, your brother's the one who's caused all this mess. Also, I don't like you. Hi! I do, I mentioned it earlier, I do think it's kind of funny that he said he won't flee from his sister's killers and then fled at the end of the battle. Also, how about that Rafa? Yeah, I think I, I definitely think I, um, undervalued her. Oh, I'm so sad. We grabbed it and lie. Alright. Let's see here. That did not get him enough. To learn JP boost, but he should have it in the next battle. Um, however, I did get raised, and I have pretty much learned the four spells that I really wanted out of that class, and that's fantastic, because now I'm going to change it back to the Templar. But he's going to be equipped with the Silken Robe, which gives him just as many hit points and a significant boost in... Um, I didn't know he couldn't wear hats. That's neat. A significant boost at MP total. Um. Oh! I don't have a spare mithril sword. That's awkward. I thought I bought one for him. Okay. She did a little bit in the monk class. Um, she could learn Aura Blast. That's not very important. I really want Chakra. Shocker and Revive are the two big ones, and to a lesser extent, Shockwave. So we'll hold out on that for a little while. I went the wrong way. Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna hold out for move plus one. Um, I don't really need a Shura this early. Looks like everybody's pretty well and good equipped, except I do want that other sword for Beowulf. That's actually really important. So. Okay. Come on. You can do better than that. I should probably save. Just to make sure that, you know, if I accidentally um, save instead of 11, I'm covered. Oh, and even more stuff is available. That's excellent, actually. Because this stage is hard. You can't equip any of that stuff. You can't equip any of that stuff. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, two 
the magic city. I just want to make sure. Okay, good. Good. Not worth it. Also not worth it. Good. Um, this is actually a good opportunity to buy cheap accessories for people. Because this gives um, them 10% uh, physical and magical evade, which can really be a lifesaver, and it only costs 300 so I'm going to be filling inventories with that for everyone who doesn't already have battle boots. Perfect. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Because Balthier doesn't really need the movement as much as, say... Reese, so I'm gonna do just a little bit of management there. Wait, did I have an extra um, battle boot this whole time? Huh, well darn. Okay, so yeah, I would rather him have that. Alright, and give me just one second to check on the recording time. Yeah, I've definitely got time to get through this. So, let's see how it goes. I consider this to be one of the harder fights in this chapter, but I want to send him with Balthier. No, I want to send him with um, Beowulf. And once again, I have to leave somebody behind. Alright, I left Balthier behind last time. Uh, this time I'm going to leave behind Reese. I just don't think she has a place in this fight. Alright. Let's get to it. But I consider this to be one of the harder fights in the chapter, actually. Um, I think that I'm in the minority in that, position, in that uh, opinion, but... They have a lot of archers and, and black mages. And... Those things are awful. Speaking of awful, look who's back. Argath got his uh, knightly position. That is awful. Yeah, they've got some real firepower on their side. I thought they had archers. I may have been mistaken. I'm probably thinking of Argath, who, once again, statistically, is the worst. Alright, Rafa, Rafa, Rafa. We're gonna move you up here, and then we're gonna wait. He is a knight, but he still continues to shoot people. Oh, and Delita got blinded immediately. That's actually pretty bad. Uh, Delita tends to play a pretty decent role in this fight. He's gonna 
throw a stone and it's gonna miss. Yep. Not Delita, Argath is so, so terrible. Now I'm gonna move up here, because when that spell goes off, I'm gonna take everybody out with me. Get that auto potion, that's obnoxious. He also has just so many hit points, he is such a tank. Alright, oops, I forgot to give him white magic, that's pretty bad. I'm gonna attempt to disable him. I've got a pretty good shot at doing it, too. This will also prevent him from um, actually utilizing Auto Potion, I believe. Um, and you're going to continue to use Rafa as a meat shield. Okay, that was a little lackluster, but, you know, something good came of it. Uh, I've made an error in judgment. I'm very bad at this stage, if you all can't tell. And the AI just has no love for their own. Come on, really? Please continue to check your rocks at him. It's very efficient. I don't care if you hit him. Actually... That's within vertical tolerance. Um, really a lot of good positioning that I can do right now. That is a 100% chance of working. Let's continue to disable people. Alright, I can't, I can't even get to him, so pretty much my only option is to Phoenix down her. I hate this stage. <laughs> Kill. What's the weight? How far away can she get? Good job. for the Manslayer. And then Delita got crit right in the noggin. Please don't hit. Thank you. I'm so tired of losing helmets. <laughs> Q. 
he's no longer disabled, I think. Not good. Oh, come on! Another blind? I'm pretty sure that's not 100% accuracy on, on the blind part, I mean. Um... Insufficient MP. Oh, I guess I'll start using physical attacks and see how that goes for me. sure if it will or not. Oh! Awesome! The mantle actually worked. That's super exciting for me. Alright, that's not much damage at all. Oh well, let's we'll see how it goes. Two misses. There's a hit. Two hits. Ooh, wow. Got all three hits on her. I don't know if I can get to Rom's corpse in time. I am really okay with that course of action. I don't think that I can. square away. We'll see if he gets another turn. I don't think he's going to, though. I think Rom's speed is just too high. Nice block. Beowulf, you are pulling your weight today. Yorafa got another turn. That's a good sign, I think. Her speed is actually abnormally high. I wonder if her speed uh, went up from one of her numerous level ups. That's not really a maneuver that I want to... Oh yes! Balthia's going to get another turn! Oh! Happy day! I'll tell you what, I'm going to wait. Because that's going to cause her turn to come around just a little bit faster. Oh man, this just became doable! Awesome. Even if Ramza goes back down immediately, that's going to reset his death counter, and that's a big deal. I'm sure you're going to shoot Ramza dead. Yep, that's okay. The big thing was I needed to prevent him from turning into a crystal, and I did just that. Alright, Beowulf. Nail him! Good job, Beowulf. That's okay. Quite get to people. Eh, I'm sure Baltier can take this. Mostly. I think Baltier might actually end up um, killing Argeth. That's gonna be the plan. Let's see if it works. Nice. That was right awesome. Oh, I'm really surprised that I uh, pulled that out. That came down to the. to the wire. Milk Sop Rabble. Was it not the hands of Milk Sop Rabble? Was it the hands of Ramza? He's a pretty keen dude.
And once again, I'm going to be quiet for this. my life the only way that I had known. But when the pillars of that life came crashing down, I did not stand and watch them fall. I turned and walked away. Such a sad scene. Alright, we're gonna be saving our game here and. Oh, look at back where we are. I believe, um, canonically, a year has passed. Um, Roms has been traveling with Gafgarian this entire time. Gafgarian is letting Ramza have his way. I really like Agrius. I mentioned that in the first episode, but it, it, it bears, you know, it, it bears repeating. She's so cool. And we're going to go ahead and let all of these people join our little crew, uh, even though we won't be using them. One, we can strip them of their equipment, and that's pretty great. Um, even more importantly than that, though, there are some special missions and cutscenes that only come from having certain characters in your uh, in your party. But on that note, we are going to be saving and we're going to be ending it. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it, and I hope you have a wonderful day.